So hi, I'm Andy and I'm just about to show you my Yamaha Tracer uh, 900 GT. Let's have a little look at it and look at some mods that I've made to the bike. So let's have a spin it round and have a little look here. So there she is, the Yamaha Tracer. Um, so I'm not going to go through the spec, you can do all that online, you know what's going on with this type of bike. Um, but I just thought I'd just give you a quick overview of some of the mods that I've made on it. So um, I think I've talked about it before in a previous video. I did um, did the screen, the Yamaha original screen was just, it actually caused a lot of noise uh, is what I was finding. So just having this MRA screen with the little deflector on the top um, just cuts out a bit of the noise. And what I would say is it fits in perfectly there. You can see different bolts that are happening. Um, yeah, they just, it literally just undo and you put the new one on. Really nice and easy. So good first mod. Um, another one I've done is I've put um, an RNG uh, crash, um, uh, sorry crash, uh, put a radiator guard on there and that's worked a real treat as well. So I've got that on there, that um, just protects the radiator, I think it actually looks a bit nicer as well, something, something silver, so that's pretty good. Um, on both sides I've put some crash bungs as well, so I've put the um, RNG crash bungs either side again, just take a bolt out, put those on, really nice and simple. Um, so that's an easy mod. Um, Another thing I did when I bought the bike, had it on a previous one, was I had a tank bag um, and I've put the Yamaha Sport tank bag on. Absolutely brilliant for, yeah, Terra so you can see a map on the top, um, but fundamentally, yeah, you can put gloves, wallet, all that other stuff in there. Really good mod, actually. I would recommend that. And that's just got a tank ring on it, which Yamaha did fit for me as well. So, um, yeah, a really good piece there because it just adds, just means I've got a little bit of extra luggage but without having to carry a rucksack, which I'm not too keen on. And the only other one I've done, you can't quite see it, I don't think, but is a cable sitting under here, and that is the um, Optimate, which I've got, because uh, here in the UK, over winter, it can get a little bit cool, um, so it's quite good to uh, actually have something like the uh, an Optimate on there. If you don't run the bike for a couple of weeks, then, um, yeah, you can that just keep the battery nice and charged. So there's a few mods on the Yamaha Tracer that I've done since I've got it, and um, I'll talk a little bit more about things like the tyres in um, an add-on in this video because um, I've got some uh, different tyres from the original Dunlops that I got on and I might even talk about some cruise control. Okay, that's my Yamaha. Okay, so uh, this is Mr Tracer 900 GT out and about again um, or as my friends call it, the Yamaha Goo. Yeah, you just have a little look at the uh, labelling on the side of the bike. It's definitely the goo. Um, yeah, just out and about, uh, over coming through a bit of the new forest here, going up between Furwood and um, Ringwood. But yeah, just a lovely day out for a ride on the bike again. And um, crazy day, just because it's, I think it's World Superbike and uh, MotoGP today. And um, make sure I uh, catch those on the telly at some point. But uh, yeah, just a great day to be out on the bike. Um, just uh, a good, met up with a good friend of mine over at Wimborne there and uh, we were just, uh, as you do, you talk tyres don't you? And on this um, Tracer Goo I have some Metzella Rotex on here and um, this is the second pair I've had now and I've got to say that an absolutely excellent set of tyres for this bike they just feel like they're glued to the um, glued to the the tarmac, just a quick cheeky overtake here. Getting another beauty of the triple engine. No having to change gears. Plenty of power out of this tracer just to do that and not have to change gears. That's just, that's just wonderful. But that's another that's another story for another day, isn't it? The four cylinder, the triple, the twin. Oh, you name it. But yeah, just wanted to quick say that um, those of you that might be thinking about sort of tyres to put on the the tracer um, this is my second pair now the Metzellas and are just they're just confidence inspiring the bike just sort of rolls into the corner really nice when you want it to the front when you push it just is there um, and I would just say I, I, I haven't got a bad word to say about them they just work well in the rain they warm up nicely the whole bike just it, it just it feels on rails um, so, Metzellas, Rotex, those are the ones to go for. I think they might have actually now even been superseded the O ones. Um, but, 
uh, yeah I've um, I've used these now and they're good lasting as well so it's um, it's not a tyre that suddenly yeah you know four four and a half thousand miles that rear is gone you're getting a bit more out of it and that's with me you know riding with a pillion with panniers probably um, at least uh, as a minimum six thousand I found um, and then it depends on how hard you're riding so yeah just a quick update and um, before I let you know okay Mr Yamaha Goo calling it out so let's look at another great feature of the uh, Yamaha Tracer 900 GT and that's good old cruise control so uh, here I am sitting on the uh, road going across a new forest and um, you want to sit at a nice 70 miles an hour pretty simple just uh, set my speed 68 jobs are good and hands free lovely you know in those long journeys you just want to uh, just trying to take that right hand throttle, just give it a bit of a break. There it is, and, and the bike just runs along lovely and smooth. So um, yeah, it works better in Europe, I've got to say, because the roads are a little bit quieter than it does here in the UK. But cruise control, come on, guys, put it on every touring bike. It's what you want. Very simple to take it off. You can just accelerate. Make sure we get up to the right speed. And I just press the button, and it's off. Done. There you go. That's how you use the uh, cruise control on the Yamaha Tracer.